The longest chain in organic chemistry refers to a continuous chain of carbon atoms that contains the most carbon atoms without breaking the sequence. For example, in this compound, the longest chain can look like this, and it will consist of four carbon atoms. Or maybe like this, and it will have five carbon atoms. Or maybe we can find even a longer path where the sequence is six carbon atoms. The longest chain is the longest sequence you can find in the compound. So in this example, it's six carbons. Let's look at a few examples and find the longest chains in the compounds. You should stop the video and try to find it on your own. So in the first one, the longest chain is made from five carbons. In the second compound, from seven carbons. And in the third compound, from 10 carbons. Now let's talk about substituents. In simple terms, they are an atom or a group of atoms which don't belong in the longest chain. So if the longest chain is six carbon, the substituents are here, here, and here. As you can see, we have different substituents here. Chlorine atom, CH3 group, and CH3, CH2 group. Let's look at a few examples and find the longest chain and substituents. So the longest chain is five carbons right here. And everything that is not part of the longest chain are substituents. So here and here. In the next compound, the longest chain is right here. So the chlorine atom and bromine atom are substituents. Don't forget that the longest chain is only the path from one carbon to another. Chlorine and bromine can't be a part of the longest chain. In the last example, our longest chain is made from nine carbon atoms. And like always, everything else is substituents. In the next lesson, we will learn how to transform skeletal formulas to condensed formulas and vice versa. So stay tuned for more organic chemistry.